So Manuel and I had this crazy idea. We wanted to know firsthand how self-made millionaires are made. So we asked more than 70 wealthy digital nomads what they did in order to achieve financial freedom and location independence. And while they all had so many incredible secrets to share, it always came down to the same seven. And by the way, if you wanna see all the expert interviews that we did, head down to the video description below and secure your free spot to the world's largest digital nomad summit. So the first thing all of these digital nomad millionaires had in common is ownership. They are all taking full responsibility for everything in their life, not just skimming the surface, but really owning every part of the journey. The secret sauce to thriving as a digital nomad in any walk of life isn't just about snagging the right gadgets or the fanciest strategies, it's about mastering the basic of personal accountability. When you take ownership, you're not just sitting in the driver's seat, you're tuning the engine, mapping the route, and steering clear of any roadblocks. It's about understanding that you aren't a passenger in your own life. But this is where most folks trip up. They wait for permission for the right moment or the perfect condition. But here's the thing, those perfect conditions, they do not exist. Imagine this, you're going out on a rainy day and you get wet. And it might not be your fault that it rains, but you still take ownership of the situation. You can simply say, it's on me. Whatever you're not changing, you're choosing. And then when you truly own the situation, you simply take an umbrella to not get wet. If you are not where you want to be yet, it's because of the choices you made or didn't make. You could start by asking yourself, what can I do differently today? This mindset isn't just powerful, it's transformative. Now let's paint the picture. Think about the last time you blamed someone or something else for your failures. Now flip that. Imagine taking full responsibility, not just for the failures, but every single action leading up to those moments. Feels intense, right? But it's also liberating because when you start owning everything, you control everything. And in a world where remote work gives you the canvas, ownership is the brush with which you'll paint your masterpiece of a nomadic lifestyle. Here's a challenge for you. For the next week, every time something doesn't go your way, instead of pointing finger at others, point them back at yourself. Ask what role did I play in this? How can I avoid the pitfall next time? Document this process and yes, write it down. Because accountability isn't just about acknowledging your role, it's about documenting and improving upon it. Owning your actions mean celebrating the victories as well. Every little win on your journey should be acknowledged. Did you nail that client presentation from a beach in Bali? Celebrate that. Manage to keep a steady income while hopping from Greece to Spain. Give yourself a pat on the back. These victories are proof that the nomadic lifestyle isn't just a string of Instagrammable moments, but a testament to what happens when you steer your own ship. Taking ownership transforms you from a passive observer to an active participant in your destiny. It's the first non-negotiable step towards genuine independence and ultimately towards mastering the art of living well on your own terms. Now here's another truth bomb for you. You. Changing your environment is often more effective than trying to change your habits directly. Sounds counterintuitive, right? But think about it. Your surroundings have a powerful, often subconscious impact on your behavior. This is especially crucial for you aspiring digital nomads and freedom seekers tuning in here. You're not just changing sceneries, you are setting the stage for transformative life shifts. Let's break this down. Your environment, and this includes people you surround yourself with, the places you frequently visit, and even the content you consume either acts as a catalyst towards growth or a barrier towards it. It's kind of like trying to diet in a donut shop. No matter how strong your willpower is, eventually the environment might wear you down. Imagine this, you're living in a busy city, surrounded by noise and chaos, and by distractions. And every day is a battle against the environment just to carve out a sliver of peace or productivity. Now flip that and you move into a tranquil beach town or a quiet mountain village where the pace slows down and distractions dwindle. And suddenly the habits you struggle to foster like meditating, reading, or simply just thinking deeply becomes a natural response to your surroundings. It's not just about the geographical changes, it's about the people too. Jim Ron famously said, you are the average of the five people you spend most time with. So if you are spending time with people who challenge you, who make you think bigger and push you harder, you'll likely elevate your game without even realizing it. Conversely, if your circle is complacent or negative, no matter how motivated you are, you might find yourself being pulled into that mindset too. Here is an actionable tip. Audit your environment. Start with your physical shape. Does it inspire you? Is it conductive to the work you want to do? If not, 
change it. Then take a look at your social circle. Are these people you aspire to be like? Do they support you or uplift you? If your answer is no, it might be time to seek new connections. This doesn't mean giving up on old friends, but rather expanding your network to include more people who align with your aspirations. And what about when you can't change your location immediately? Change what you can, rearrange your workspace, curate your social media feeds to reflect your aspirations, subscribe to podcasts and channels like this one that feed your brain with the right conversations. Small tweaks in your environment can lead to significant lifestyle changes. So you've set the stage by taking ownership and tweaking your environment to better support your growth. But here's where the rubber meets the road, taking that leap of faith. I'm not just talking about small calculated steps. I mean those big bold jumps to the unknown, the kind that separate wealthy nomads from the backpack brokies. Let's face it, the path of a digital nomad, especially one aiming for the millionaire status, is uncharted and intimidating. The thought of leaving behind a steady paycheck, the so-called security that the corporate slave drivers promise, can be terrifying. But here's the truth. The most lucrative opportunities often lie just beyond the reach of comfort. And sometimes you have to jump first and build your parachute on the way down. Consider the concept of nomadic closing, a skill that turns conventional job dependency on its head. Instead of clocking in 9 to 5, suffocating under fluorescent lights, you're closing high ticket deals from a beach in Bali or a cafe in Paris. And you don't have all the answers on how to get there, but you have the guts to start. And that's the lead. The rest, it comes with action, with each deal you close and with every client interaction. And here's the real kicker. The most successful digital nomads didn't just start with a complete blueprint. They had a vision, a solid skill like nomadic closing and the whole lot of guts. They learned to negotiate, to close and to connect deeply with clients from cultures across the globe while adapting to the nomadic lifestyle. They didn't just wait to figure out every little detail before they get started. They launched into it, learned from the real world experience and define their methods on the fly. But why is it crucial to take action before having all the answers? Because waiting to figure everything out is a form of procrastination. It's what separates the dreamers from the doers, the wealthy nomads from the backpack brokies. Those who leap are the ones who learn the fastest because the real world experience is the best teacher. They adapt, they overcome, and most importantly, they move quickly enough to capitalize on opportunities that others might miss while too busy planning. Think of it this way, if you wait to know everything before you're making the move, you'll never start. Millionaires, especially nomadic ones, embrace uncertainty. They understand that flexibility and adaptability are the greatest assets. They make peace with the discomfort of not knowing because they believe in their ability to figure things out. And this isn't just optimism, it's a strategic bet on your own skills and resourcefulness. I challenge you to think about what what your leap of fate might look like? Is it investing in a mentor to teach you the ins and outs of nomadic clothing? Is it finally booking that one-way ticket to start your journey abroad, trusting that the skills you build will sustain your travels and lifestyle? Or perhaps it's launching that online service you've been perfecting without knowing it's the perfect time. Whatever it is, know this. Every successful nomad you look up to has been exactly where you are right now. They have felt fear, the uncertainty, and they've jumped anyway. And that's what sets them apart. That's what crafted their millionaire mindsets. So as you absorb this, I want to hear from you. What is your leap of faith? Drop us a comment below and share the one bold move you're gearing up to make. Now the journey to becoming a wealthy digital nomad isn't just about taking risks and embracing change. It's also about recognizing when you need guidance and how to leverage that for exceptional growth. Millionaires and successful digital nomads know that the smartest shortcut to achieving great success is through mentorship. Learning from those who've already navigated the path can save you time, money and a whole lot of stress. Think about it. The right mentor acts like a GPS for your journey as a digital nomad. Instead of wandering aimlessly and making unnecessary mistakes, a mentor provides you with a clear path towards your destination. They have been where you are, they have made the mistakes and they figured out the best practices. By tapping into their wisdom, you're not just learning what to do, you're learning what
what to avoid, which in many cases is even more valuable. For instance, let's consider the world of nomadic clothing again. A mentor who excels in this area can provide you with the specific tactics that work, help you tailor your approach to different cultures and economics, and even introduce you to networks and opportunities that would be difficult to access on your own. But where do you find those mentors? Look for individuals who are not only successful, but also align with the kind of nomadic lifestyle you aspire to live. Attend industry webinars, join niche online communities, read books from experts, or attend summits in that space. The digital world is vast, but it's also more connected than ever. Use that to your advantage. And when you choose a mentor, it's not just about what they teach you about your profession. It's about understanding the nuances of managing a business remotely, navigating taxes, residency issues, and all the logistical aspects of living a nomadic lifestyle. These are the crucial elements that can complicate or simplify your life significantly. Investing in mentorship also means being ready to act on the advice given. It's about commitment. When a mentor provides guidance, see it as a golden ticket to accelerate your growth. Implement their advice, ask for feedback, and refine your approach continuously. In the process of becoming a wealthy digital nomad, a solid, tested, and proven strategy is not just helpful, it's crucial. It's the difference between wandering aimlessly and moving forward with a clear direction and confidence. And this is where the idea of a proof of concept comes into play, particularly one that has been perfected over time through real world application and success. A proof of concept in a world of digital nomadry, like our nomadic closing framework, isn't just about showing that something works in theory. It's about demonstrating that it works in your world, under your specific circumstances, and you can produce repeatable, successful results. Think of it as your battle-tested playbook for navigating the complexities of earning a substantial income while living in a location-independent lifestyle. Consider the nomadic closing framework that we've developed. It's not just a set of guidelines, it's a comprehensive approach that has been refined through the experience of numerous digital nomads who have leveraged it to build prosperous careers from all corners of the globe. This framework addresses common challenges such as establishing trust with high-value clients remotely, mastering the art of persuasion across cultural boundaries, and converting prospects into high-paying clients, and all while maintaining the freedom and flexibility that define the nomadic lifestyle. The road to becoming a wealthy nomad is littered with potential pitfalls, untested strategies, fleeting trends, and unscalable business models. A proof of concept like the nomadic closing framework serves you as your compass. It guides you through your decisions and actions based on strategies that are not only proven to be effective, but also sustainable and scalable regardless of where you are in the world. Start by rigorously testing small components of your nomadic business endeavors. For example, if you're offering consulting services, pilot your offering with a select group of clients and refine your approach based on their feedback and your outcomes. Document every step from initial contact and consultation to the closing of the deals and analyze what works and what doesn't work. This documentation will help you to build your own proof of concept that's tailored to your unique strengths and the market needs. It's also crucial to stay adaptable. The most reliable proof of concept is the one that evolves as conditions change. The digital nomad landscape is dynamic. Technologies change, market demands shift, and new opportunities arise. The ability to adapt your proof of concept to these changes without losing sight of your underlying principles is the key to long-term success. As you navigate the roads of becoming a wealthy nomad, there is something that you can just not ignore. All businesses need revenue to sustain themselves. Without revenue, your aspirations and plans are just beautiful ideas floating in a limbo. And the key that unlocks real progress and tangible results is your ability to close. In the nomadic lifestyle, where stability isn't defined by your location, but by your financial influx, knowing how to close becomes your most essential skill. But here's the harsh truth. If you don't know how to close, you will fail. This isn't to discourage you, it's to prepare you. Many aspiring nomads embark on this journey with vibrant visions, innovative ideas, but falter at the execution stage. They can network, they can negotiate, but when it comes time to convert those interactions into secure, profitable agreements, they falter. It's a common pitfall that turns potential success stories into cautionary tales. This is not about 
selling, it's about closing, which is a nuanced difference, but a critical one. Selling implies pushing a product or a service, while closing is about sealing a deal that brings mutual benefits, aligning your offers perfectly with the needs of the client. And there's another critical aspect. The business models that fail to acknowledge the importance of closing are often the ones that collapse under their own weight. They might have everything else innovative products, an excellent operational strategy, a charismatic leader even. But if they can't close, none of that matters. It's kind of like having a state-of-the-art sports car, but no keys. You can't just go anywhere. So if you're watching this and thinking about how to apply this into your journey, start by elevating your current ability to close. Are you able to confidently convert conversations into commitments? Are your engagements with potential clients resulting in actual revenue? If the answer is no, this is a crucial gap you need to address. As we dive another level deeper in what it takes to become a successful wealthy nomad, it's crucial to discuss the vehicles that will transport you to your desired destinations. Not literal vehicles, of course, but metaphorical ones that represent the opportunities and the strategies you can adopt on your own path. Understanding the difference between an A, B and C level opportunity is like knowing whether you're driving a high performance sport car or a used car that barely make it down the driveway. The sports car, sleek and efficient, represents an A level opportunity. These are opportunities that not only promise high returns, but also align perfectly with the fast paced ever-changing lifestyle of a digital nomad. They're powerful, reliable, and designed to get you where you want to go quickly and in style. In contrast, the barely functional used car represents the C-level opportunities. These might get you to your destination eventually, but the journey will be slow, fraught with breakdowns, and frankly, it might not even make it to the end. B-level opportunities sit somewhere in the middle. They are functional, they can be dependable, but they don't offer the same performance or the potential for acceleration like the A-level opportunities do. Now, why should you aim for A-level opportunities? Because as a wealthy digital nomad, your resources, time, energy and focus are your most valuable assets. You can't afford to waste them on low yield, high maintenance ventures that don't advance your goals. A-level opportunities are not just about quick gains, they're about sustainable growth, scalability and compatibility with your lifestyle. They're the kinds of opportunities that are worth switching to if you find yourself stuck in the slow lane with a B or a C level opportunity. And I get it, it might be tempting to stick with a lower level opportunity because it feels safer or because you're simply used to it. However, just as you wouldn't cling to a failing car, just because it's familiar, you shouldn't cling to a lesser opportunity out of comfort. Switching to an A-level opportunity might require some initial adjustment and learning, but the upgrade in performance and results are worth it. Think about this as you evaluate your current strategies and plans. Are they truly A-level, propelling you forward in a way that aligns with your high-speed, efficient lifestyle of a wealthy digital nomad? Or are they holding you back like an unreliable car that's always on the verge of breaking down? Choosing the right vehicle for your journey isn't just a minor detail. It's a fundamental decision that can define your entire experience as a digital nomad. Opt for the sports car, the A-level opportunity, and enjoy the journey as much as the destination. Keep this analogy in your mind as you plan and strategize your next moves, and ensure that every opportunity that you pursue is worthy of your time and ambition, and don't hesitate to upgrade when it's necessary. Reflect on your current vehicle. Is it taking you where you need to go with the efficiency and the speed you desire? If not, what changes will you make to align yourself with an A-level opportunity? And speaking of choosing the right vehicle to make money online, here are the seven digital nomad business models that you can do from anywhere in the world. And the last one is by far our favorite one. Click here to watch the video.